Hello, this is Morlibus. I am making this video for Zisto. He's part of the Mine Crackers, and he's working on that pretty cool looking lens way up in the sky. And they recently changed portals so that you can actually use them, or they'll actually link up to the nether if they're above, like, what is it, 128 or whatever it was. And I think Zisto tried it but couldn't get it to work. And I have done a test here that will show that it can work and in this case I've done something a little different too. So on my left here is the ground portal. Um, I don't know exactly where Zisto plans to put his portals but it shouldn't really matter. So this is where the ground one is and over here is where the sky one is. Obviously not right here because this is still the ground. But if you look up there you can just see it. But in relation to where it is horizontally, it's right above this guy. And those are the coordinates. So it's up at 204 at the feet level, and we are currently at 4 at the feet level. So it's 200 blocks above. So what we got, I got a little kind of template here. What I've done, oops, that's not the right side, is made it so you can actually use one. I didn't make it. I've <laughs> done the math, sort of that will show you that you could use actually just one portal in the nether to go to two different locations consistently. And I kind of use this wool to show how that works. So, probably get rid of that for the clarify. Okay. So when you enter a, a portal, there's actually two portal locations that can be used because it takes there's actually, there are, well, I think there's actually like six portal locations, but only the ones that you have a block underneath them, which is the bottom two, are actually usable. So, in a typical nether portal build, I'm guessing you could probably do custom ones that would work differently. So, each of these is actually taken into account depending on where you stand, on what side of the portal. It takes those coordinates. So, if you're on this side, you're one block over obviously. Now in the overworld that doesn't really make a difference because you're dividing by eight. So you divide one by eight and you get a fraction, a very small fraction. And I believe it rounds typically, I think it's rounds, if it's above 0.5 it goes to the next integer. But I, think I could be wrong. I'm not a pro at this by any means. I was just playing around and reading the wiki and I got this to work. So I was like, oh cool. Maybe Zisto wants to do something like this so he could still keep a portal on his ground base or even in his mine shaft or something like that. And he could quickly go between the two. So, let's take a look at this guy. I've already built the portals. So if we go in the ground one here, again we are at X coordinate 0. Everything is on the X0 here. Just for consistency's sake. Doesn't have to be. All that matters, and we'll take a look at this again is that wherever you, you place the nether portal, it has to be between the two overworld portals. In this demonstration, you can see that's pretty much as close as the overworld portals can be to each other, horizontally. They can be spaced out a lot further apart. But if you go any closer, then you're going to have kind of this block will no longer be closest to this portal it'll be closer to that one as well, so they'll both be kind of the same distance. But in this instance, if you're standing right here, this portal block is actually the closest one, because it's like straight, straight line. Where this one is a straight line up, oops, but then it's also over one. So there, that one is actually slightly longer. But if you stand on this side, it's the opposite case. So if that makes sense, we'll carry on to the nether, woo! Faster, 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 faster. Okay, here we are. So this is the nether portal. I built it. it. Not there. I think that's where it spat me out. So this one is built in between the other two portals. Almost exactly. Um, it's actually one block offset according to what I calculated it should be mathematically. So either I screwed up, which is definitely possible, or there's something else going on here that I don't know. 
So yeah, so the ground is at Y4, the sky is at Y204, so I put this one right in the middle at 104. So this guy's in the center vertically, and it's also in the center horizontally. Now you don't have to do it that way. This is just kind of the simplistic way of showing how it works. All that matters is that when you stand here, and you take these coordinates, and you multiply them by 8, because it's zero. Yep, this is probably where I've buggered up. But anyway, you take these coordinates and you multiply by zero. Or take two. You multiply by eight to get your overworld counterpart. And you do the same for the other one. As long as this guy is closer to one portal and this guy is closer to the other portal, it will reliably take you to the other portal. So we just came from the ground, which I used blue, which would have been better for the sky, because the sky is blue, but I thought about that after the fact, so screw it, we're going to red, which is up in the air. All right, there we go, we were at X0, Y204, and Z8. And this is my lens, it's pretty good, looking pretty fine if you ask me, not bad. All right. Let's go to the mine. Let's go to the portal, or go to the nether real quick. All right, and we're out, and let's go on the blue side, which should take us back to the nice blue grass. And we're down. And there you go. So it does work. It can be a little finicky. And I think maybe because of the way I place these portals, I'm not too sure. I ended up having to offset my nether portal over one to where I calculated it, but essentially you can have your overworld portals portals <laughs> portals speaking is good. I didn't swallow my own tongue. Okay, you can have your overworld portals wherever the hell you want. So well, within reason, you may need to adjust them a couple blocks. I think it has to be even numbers, maybe, I don't know. Probably, so that there's an equal distance to the one to the nether equivalent, yada yada yada, number number number. So yeah, you can put them anywhere you want. So Zisto's free to put his portals wherever he chooses. Again, for the most part, give or take a few blocks. And then all you got to do is put the nether one in a relative location, equal distance apart from the two. So it doesn't have to be right stab in the middle, is that the term? Dab, stab, something, stab. It doesn't have to be in the exact center of both of the portals. It can be kind of anywhere, so long as one side is mathematically closer to one portal and the other side is mathematically closer to the other portal. So the nether portal could be, uh, I don't know exactly where, like, again, you can only go over Uh, horizontally to <laughs> to about what would it be to like there for your nether obviously not at this height because <laughs> I think this one's clearly closer just a bit so yeah that's as far over to the that side you could go in this example and in this one it would be like a so this is good placement look at that Pro, 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 pro. Okay. And then you'd have to, of course, if you did put it this way, in that location horizontally, you'd have to adjust vertically so it's still the distances. Now that I haven't tested, but it should work in theory. But anyway, at the very least, Zisto should be able to get his portal linked up to his the lens. There's one thing, I don't know... Like the Y value, I know a lot of people tend to ignore the Y value, like the up and down, but it does matter. It is taken into account when they calculates the which portal is closer. However, it is not multiplied, or multiplied, divided by eight for the nether. And obviously you can't have your nether portal above the bedrock ceiling 
So that would be another limitation on kind of where that nether portal has to be. But yeah, so you take your x, you take your y, you divide by 8, you take your y value as is, and you use those numbers to calculate the distance. And away you go. So I hope this was somewhat informative. I did do a Reddit post on this as well, just using some pictures, but I figured I'd do a video as well. And hopefully Zisto will take a look and it'll help him out. Because yeah, that lens is pretty cool and it would suck if you'd have to build some kind of structure up to it so it's not floating. Anyway, I will end that here. Hope you enjoyed and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.